Okay, what the extra time? I have no idea. It's, pro it's probably nearly about four o'clock now. This is a uh, embankment place. That's the embankment underneath it. This is, was this was the next location of the homeless kitchen until, of course, uh, it's just been sanitized just this morning. Uh, the guys, well, they have told me that uh, what happened. Unfortunately, um, best way not to be identified. Uh, all the equipment has been uh, confiscated, or maybe you might call it stolen. Because come on, I, I you don't really want homeless people to uh, start uh, making tea, coffee, hot soup, you know, for themselves. They'd rather have them uh, drinking alcohol that way to keep themselves warm. And at some point, if they get if they drink too much, they'll just uh, you know lie down and uh, get hypothermia and die. You can see there at the moment. That's where they're. Uh, sanitizing it ah, okay uh, uh, as for the clothing from what uh, I've been from uh, my information is that they've been told that it's not a shop they can't take those, that clothing and the only thing that uh, what will happen is that Westminster Council will um, will pick them up and it will be given to those people in need not exactly sure what that means will it be given to uh, uh, charity shops corporations that uh, pay their um, uh, CEO 70,000 pounds a year and then sell the clothing to people at what 50% of the value which seems to be there happening now in a lot of uh, in a number of in a number of um, <sighs> charity shops <sighs> at this moment in time we are outside we are inside the 26 Denmark place that's gonna be the Bohemians for Soho if you want to follow us it's our Bohemia okay we're trying to uh, we are going to be saving well what's this the, yep, yes, sorry about that, yeah, okay. We are uh, at the moment saving uh, saving Soho, send, sa saving Denmark Street from Embankment Place. Yes, from the so-called regeneration by Consolidated Developments Limited. If you want to check them out, they're more than likely uh, one of those uh, uh, shell companies created for other companies in order to be able to extract more money from the system and then not give you anything back we are there's a precedent for it from about 40 years ago when Covent Garden market was saved from developers we want to do the same thing for Denmark place Denmark Street apologies and Tin Pan Alley well now what we can do is this we want to be able to uh, uh, set up that homeless kitchen again but at this moment in time we we don't have a we, ha we don't have the space but we can do this um, if you want to uh, post donations, please contact us. Uh, that would be uh, uh, through the Facebook page, uh, Homeless Kitchen London or Occupied News Network. I'll be uh, checking it out. And then after that, we shall see what we can do. Uh, any donations will be needed. You can please uh, yeah, check out um, Occupied News Network and uh, Homeless Kitchen London. I'll be posting the wish list. And we shall see what else we can do about this thing. I don't know. Um, uh, uh, sorry, I'm just a bit uh, flustered. I am troubled by this situation where they, this is embankment place. They were not homeless people were there. They 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 do hang out on that side, and they are away from uh, from people. It's in the back streets. No one really goes down there. It's near embankment station, but it's not like a main thoroughfare like um, like Trafalgar Trafalgar Square. But no, they still don't want them. Westminster Council do not want homeless people to be seen. Okay, apologies guys, I'm ranting now. I'll uh, post this up on uh, YouTube and on Facebook as well. <sighs> and then, let's see what we can do. Let's see what happens. Peace. Oh yeah, follow us. Um, Twitter would be OccupyNN. YouTube is Occupy News Network. And a couple of uh, Facebook pages, um, our, our Bohemia. And the other one is Homeless Kitchen London. And we'll see what happens. Peace out.